Welcome back, my fellow followers of Chaos 2, our Dawn of War 2, uh, Warhammer 40,000 campaign. So, I'm a bit of an idiot, and I cut the recording early, last episode, um, before you guys got to see some uh, conversations between the characters and a cutscene. Uh, basically, they were just discussing uh, Thule, and uh, people are taking care of him now, so his life is hanging in the balance a bit. But, sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, we got some new stuff. And look at this, we have a power fist. Ooh. It actually doesn't... Okay, it does a bit more damage than our chainsword. And it, we recover health on hit. So, we'll definitely put that on, because power fists are awesome. I mean, look, look at that freaking thing. Awesome. And is this pistol better than ours right now? Does more damage. More melee skill. Whatever. And it's white. Ooh. Uh, any of this uh, armor better? Range damage resistance. Mm. And health. Oh, get rid of this. Gross. Oh, no, everybody's leveled up. Excellent. Uh, we might actually put this on him. Because we're not going to be fighting orcs in the next mission. That is for darn sure. Anyway. And we also have our commander items we can finally use. Uh, do we want our iron halo or our banner? Or our battle standard, rather. Can we check a force field that uses energy to absorb damage? Armor reading. Combat discipline. Rally. 35 health. When hit by a melee weapon. Let's put the banner on him. Yeah. Look at that. And we can't get rid of this stuff, so... Whatever. Oh, and please excuse that lawnmower that's right outside my window. That sucks. Uh, regain health when killing an opponent. That could be nice. Let's go for the knockdown resistance, though. Okay, Tarkus. Additional damage. You know what? I've never actually gotten to that, so let's do that. This bolter does more damage, more energy, energy regeneration. Sure, whatever. Ah, uh, you already got abilities that you should be using. Now, we should probably get this sprint just to have it. Oh, Terminator would be nice too. Let's just go for the Terminators. Okay, a bit, actually, no, the same damage. Damage resistance now. We'll skip on that. That's, uh, we'll just donate that. Um, accuracy. Any of these help with you? Let's see. Thaddeus. Oh, invulnerable after jumping. Yes, please. We definitely want that. Blade of Ulius. Uli Ulius? I don't know. Uh, melee damage resistance. Health. Recover 4 energy on hit. Damage resistance, so the same resistance. The other one gives us more health and more damage. We're actually going to stick to our old one. Uh, we will give you this pistol, though. Excellent. I don't really see the point in even having this. Uh, let's get rid of it. Okay. There we go. Everyone's all uh, nice and upgraded. So now we have to go to Typhon, uh, because there's a bit of a Tyranid threat. As you can see. Uh, although we're going to be fighting the Eldar. Okay. Well, that's uh, no problem. But yes, now that we've uh, encounter encountered the Tyranids, we now know that they are actually invading this sector. So uh, every once in a while we'll get missions to reduce this. I guess you lose if this fills up. Uh, I really don't know. I've never gotten it past like here. So let's see. Eyes of the Eldar. We have located the Eldar raiding party that threatens our supply lines between Typhon and Calderas. We have identified their leader as the dangerous ranger Nemerian. He is apparently coming from an operation in Orc territory. This is our chance to cripple Eldar operations on Typhon. We may also uncover more of the Eldar's plans. I suggest we neutralize him immediately, Commander. Excellent. Well, let's go. We'll be getting mines for this. Oh, I wish my force commander had a, uh, a jump pack. Destroy the webway gates. 
Webway gates and webway assemblies assemblies summon additional Eldar enemies. Okay. Gotta destroy the webways. Here we come. Here comes the Space Marine. Eldar they are the angels in space. The target, Commander. Jesus. Let's go. We hope to cover his escape, no doubt. This we cannot allow. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, oh, good thing I got you away from that. Jeez. There we go. Oh, ability is recharging. Shit. Well, he's gonna die anyway. There you go. You killed him. You killed him! Jeez, guys. Let's go. Yeah, if I can get a jetpack, or, jeez, a jump pack for, uh, for overkillus here, that'd be great. Then we could, uh, we could kick some serious ass. Oh, there's a, there's a shield. Take out the shield. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh, okay. That was... That was, uh... Easy. I've lost my, uh, my memory of this time in the game. So please forgive me. I don't actually remember fighting this guy. Okie dokie. Now I just need to destroy the webway gates. Whatever. Oh, shoot him. Jump on him. Boom. Yeah. Assault Marines are good. Kill him. Oh, goodbye. Go away, Warp Spider. Come on, you killed him. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, I highly doubt that this is going to be an easy fight, uh, taking out all these... Eldar with all their shields and Eldar trickery. Yeah. Let's call in some artillery. That'd be nice. Oh, get out of there. Yeah, that helped a little bit. Oh. Get out of there. Okay, everybody get up here. Come on. You fools. Oh, he's got, he got these darn weapon platforms over here. Blow it up. There you go. Oh, why did they move all the way back there? Oh crap. Do it! You're invincible now! Kill that weapon platform. Oh jeez. Let's call in more artillery in the middle! Destroy them! Hmm. This mission was a lot quicker. Than I thought it was, unless they, unless they pull something on me that I'm not aware of. But I'm pretty sure there isn't anything special. Jeez, the warp spider though. Jump on him. That's a good way to clear a group of enemies. Holy cow, that guy was tough. Damn. Okay, let's go break this place. Hey! Stop knocking me over. Screw you. Oh well, that works. Hmm. That explains their actions among the orcs. What do the Tyranids have to do with Eldar helping Oh, nice. 
full-fledged orc uprising could actually slow the Tyranid Thaddeus. If the Eldar were not doing this on our own recruiting worlds, we could use the situation to our advantage. Using orcs and Eldar to stop an enemy? Why would we waste our time with that? We are space marines. We fear nothing because we are fear incarnate. We may be fear incarnate, Avatus, but we face an enemy that knows no fear. We will need every advantage we can get if we want to save the sector. Awesome. Zeal and fury are okay. Yep, yep. Yep. Let's get back to the retribution or Armageddon. Yes, Nemerian clearly knew of the Tyranids. This explains much, but we have been getting reports of other Eldar activity in the sector that is not related to the Orcs. Clearly the Eldar have other plans in motion, none of which can be good for us. I will keep you apprised of any further developments, Commander. What can you tell us about the Tyranids, Cyrus? The Tyranids are unlike any other threat we have faced, Targus. Orcs may operate in vast hordes, but they still have individual chieftains that unite them. Kill these chieftains, and the orc horde is weakened and scattered. A Tyranid hive fleet, however, is a single massive organism. Every creature in the swarm is simply one part of a single terrifying mind. We cannot break the Tyranids' morale, or take advantage of their pride. We cannot make them see reason. And for every beast we kill, a million more are ready to take its place. But what do they want? The Hive devours entire worlds. Its goal is to feed itself and grow. And it will not stop until the entire galaxy is consumed. Commander, the Orcs continue to undermine our defenses on Calderas. We need to shore up these defenses if we are to have any hope of stopping the Tyranids. Indeed. So now we gotta go back to Calderas. Oh, we actually have to fight some uh, Tyranids here. Cool. So we're going back in the webway, or not the webway, the uh, the warp. And here we go, back on Calderas. A message is coming in from Chapter Command. Commander, this is Gabriel Angelos aboard the battle barge Litany of Fury. I have received word of the Tyranid threat facing subsector Aurelia and of Captain Thule's grave condition. The Tyranids are a threat of unimaginable proportions, Commander. They are endless in number and intent on consuming whole worlds. The Litany of Fury is now making for Aurelia at all speed, but we are weeks away. I will relay all distress signals back to you while we devise a plan of attack. Wonderful. So, vengeance for Davian Thule. Commander, we have located Captain Thule's attacker. The warrior beast that you drove into the Badlands has resurfaced, leading a swarm of lesser Tyranids. This is our first chance to strike back at the Tyranid enemy, and we cannot pass it up. Collecting samples from this creature's corpse may also lead to a cure for Captain Thule and could give us valuable information on how to defeat the Hive Fleet. This area is heavily infested, Commander, so be prepared for heavy resistance. Hell yeah, let's get him. So, uh, opponent uses superior troops. Eh, eh, not really. Um, this victory here reduces the infestation, that's what I was talking about. He's vulnerable to bolter fire. Awesome. The Tyranids. From beyond the very edge of the galaxy come the Tyranid Hive Fleets. Tendril-like swarms bent on consuming all life. Guided by a terrible communal intelligence known as the Hive Mind, Tyranids exist solely to strip the universe bare to feed their endless appetites. In a matter of weeks, Hive fleets can strip whole systems of life. They are without number, without fear, and without mercy. Blech. They'll fear us. They better fear space marines. Come on, let's go. Okay. Target the larger creatures to disrupt the swarm. Here we are. That will buy us the time to get to our target. Captain oh. Thule will have his There's vengeance. little... There's little termagants. There's termagants everywhere. 
kill him. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Don't let those near us. Blow those up. Blow those up. Oh god. Get away from the mines. Yeah, these spore mines, they're not very fun. There we go. That worked. Yeah, see? It was over there and took like half the health and killed one of them, actually. Jeez. Yeah, we need our guy back. Go retreat and come back. Yeah, you don't want spore mines hitting you. That's not fun. Okay, so we'll get one of Tarkus's men back, and then we'll uh, we'll move in here. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Okay. Line up. Oh, rippers! We got rippers and termagants. Heavy fire. Rippers are just little tiny worm things. It doesn't really matter. They're not that huge of a threat. I mean, of course, if there's a lot of them, they could be a problem. But, uh, no. We're fine. Oh, more termagants are showing up, though. Oh, there's a warrior. Is that him? No, that's just a warrior. Uh, the, the one we have to fight is up there. Oh, crap. We gotta have a bit of a problem here, don't we? Okay, we got them off our back. Oh, we got a sniper rifle. Man, oh man. Okay. The rippers are more of a threat than I thought they were. Oh, a flamer. That would have been nice. Holy cow, he almost he almost went down. No problem. Oh, I probably should have just took the point. Come here. We're gonna take this and then you can get your men back. Jeez. Rippers are dangerous, man. What about Xenos? Come on. Get your ass up here. There we go. And one more. Can we get down over here? Should we get down over there? Or should we? Let's go this way. That was a hard decision. Okay. I'm not seeing anybody yet. Oh, never mind. They're there. Okay, set up over there. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Oh! Yeah, that's a mine launcher. Ah, damn. That's not good. That is going to destroy us. Okay, we gotta get in there. Throw a grenade. They don't do as much damage as the actual... Um, spore mines, but it's still bad. Come on, Force Man. Commander, get in there. Jeez. Okay, take that. Jeez. I'm a bit rusty fighting the Tyranids, as you can tell. My god. Awesome. Get our tactical marine back. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go capture this. A critical manufacturing facility lies nearby. God damn it. Capturing it will allow us to deploy more rapidly. Oh no no no. Get away. Get away. No mercy for the misguided. No! Avidus, what are you doing? Oh my god. That's so fucking stupid. Okay, get him up. Stupid spore mines. 
Well. Jeez, we didn't even get like two feet away from the damn thing. Okay, I need one more. Oh, a Ravener. Kill the Ravener. I don't even care. Let's waste the artillery over here. I don't even care. Oh my god, where are you going? No. You're just gonna get yourself killed. Dreadnought armor. Excellent. Holy cow, Thaddeus. You're getting your ass kicked. Oh, I didn't really notice that that was there. Okay. Come on, Thaddeus. I need you back here. Kill that warrior. Come on. There you go. There. Yeah, you can definitely say little by little again. <laughs> Not doing a great job. We're doing it. We're doing it, though. No worries. Once we capture this, we'll move on. There you go. Oh, I trust this was worth the effort. It was. With this foundry in our hands, we can redeploy more quickly. Well, you totally didn't already say that. We're gonna kill them. Kill them. Excellent. Go get them. Wow, I'm getting a lot of shit in this episode. Okay, let's take this last point and then we'll go uh, kill this warrior. Or warrior prime, I suppose, is what he is if he's special. Jump him. Oh my god, they have a zoanthrope. Kill it. Well, now I wish I didn't use all my uh, artillery. Oh, we killed the zoanthrope. Excellent. Oh, more termagants. Okay. We'll get a good jump here. While they're doing that, we'll uh, we'll capture this point with Tarkus, and Avidus' squad will wreck those guys. Awesome. And we have captured the point, so we are now ready to face the Warrior Prime. Yeah. So we'll set up the guys in here. And, oh, don't. Damn. Well, okay. Fight the warrior prime. I, he must be a warrior prime, if they're if he's special. Hey, leave them alone. Come on. Fight the guys that are actually friggin' fighting you, you dickbag. Or run away like puss. Oh, this guy's a real bitch. Apparently, this is him being uh, weak to bolter fire. Mm -hmm. Where the hell is he going? Come on. Kill him. 
Yeah, he doesn't look that uh he doesn't look that weak to bolt or fire to me. I don't even care if I hurt my own guys. Jump him. Bioplasma! Clear that area! What? Oh no! Move! Move, move, move! See? That's why it was a good idea to get that sprint. Oh, this guy's tough as hell. Oh, move again! No! Oh my god. Oh no! Rippers! Leave them alone. Oh, we killed all of them. Awesome. No, more of them. Oh, they. Oh no, they didn't die. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Avidus lost all of his guys? My god. Okay, well. Go, uh, go get some men. Okay, everybody's gonna have to back off. Jeez. Oh, he was just about to die, though. My god. Way tougher than he should be. All we have to do is walk back and like shoot him once and he'll die. Ready for relocating. Or we could just do that. Whoa. Kill them. Cut those aliens down. Destroy them. It is done. Move on. Jeez, he has like no health. Come on. There we go. Well done, Commander. Awesome. Apothecary Gordian has dispatched servitors to collect and analyze the warrior's corpse. Our librarians have also consulted the more complete records aboard the Litany of Fury. With this information, we have devised a plan of attack against the Hive Fleet. Cool. Okay, so this time I'm not going to be an idiot and skip before they talk, so... We're going to uh, get a little loading screen and then I'll end the episode. So, yep, we avenged Thule. A couple of our guys leveled up. Awesome. Tyranids have a simple and terrible agenda, Commander. Left unchecked, they will kill and consume every living thing on the planet. Our only hope of stopping the Tyranids is to strike at the heart of the Hive Fleet itself. For us to do this, you must first accomplish three critical tasks. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. Only its precise scans will allow us to analyze the Hive Fleet and locate its weaknesses. You must also obtain a sample of the Hive Fleet's biotoxins. Only a pure gene sample will allow us to develop a poison to strike at the Hive Fleet. And you must secure access to Angel Forge on planet Meridian. Only this ancient forge's vast manufacturing capabilities will allow us to produce weapons with which to deliver our poison. Okie okay, dokie. Each of these tasks pits your handful against untold billions. Yeah. But failure means the utter annihilation of our worlds. And a death sentence for our chapter. Yeah, that's probably not good. That's probably not something we want. Well, we'll make sure to deal with them, Gabriel. Gaby. Commander, we need to take direct control of Angel Forge. I'm authorizing you to travel to Meridian. The planetary governor has been less than cooperative thus far, so be prepared for bureaucratic resistance. Angelos out. Okay. Well, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you enjoyed the series, be sure you're subscribed to make sure you see it every Friday as well. Like, you know, bleh. you know what I'm trying to say. 
Anyway, guys, thank you, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.